Hi, this is my Max plugin, uh, which freezes with a, um, a USB pedal, which you can see in the little window below. Um, sorry about my slippers. Now then, um, it all runs around this thing here, which is called Spectral Freeze Pro. And this is a Max for Live plugin, which I dragged into Max 8. And the plugin is by this fellow here, Jean-Francois Charles, who's a clarinet player and electronic wizard. And you can get this thing from here, um, New Floor Music, the music of Jean-Francois Charles, and you can download his plugins. And you can get them from here as well, the, the classic uh, maxforlive.com. Uh, so you can look for Max for Live plugins and drag them into Max. So back to Max. Um, when I press my foot pedal, I've programmed it so using this thing here, a sign key map, to make my foot switch. So when I press my foot switch, you can see it lights up there. Okay, and again, when I press it again, it disappears. No problem. So, what we're going to do is show you what happens with the sax. I'm going to play a note. And as you can see, uh, playing a note is like a, a sustain pedal on a piano. It carries on playing that note until I press the button again. And then it stops. Okay, but what it does do is it can carry on playing a note and I can play another note live at the same time. Let's just try that. Back on. So the note carries on. If I press my foot switch when I've changed note, the new note will carry on. Okay, so it's a bit like um, a uh, sustain pedal on a piano. Okay, the next thing you can do is you can build up harmony using it as well. So, uh, first things first, there's this feedback control here. Um, let's just turn that up to 100% and do the same again. So, play a note. And that note's carrying on nicely. I can do that again now. So each time I uh, press a pedal, it added to the uh, to the notes. So it likes putting a sustain pedal on the piano and holding it down. So I press, I play the saxophone note, press a pedal, play another saxophone note, press a pedal, and the, each one gets added to the chord until I turn the feedback back down to zero, and then when I press a pedal, it'll stop the chord. Um, I could stop the chord with just one note and do it do it that way as well. So I could turn the feedback to zero, uh, play a note, press a pedal, and then the chord will disappear. And then the note that I'm playing when I press the foot switch for the last time will carry on. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, but this Spectral Freeze Pro is really good fun.